I'm Robert Earl, and this is your 33 Dreams of Indie Grid Walk for September 17th, 2019. Only 250 days until the running of the 104th Indianapolis 500, and 179 days from the start of the 2020 Road to Indy season. On this date in racing history, in 2017, Joseph Newgarden clinched his IndyCar championship. And now to our latest news. 33 Dreams of Indie podcast just posted our latest episode 9 featuring an interview with Christian Rasmussen of the J. Howard Driver Development Team. Christian is a USF 2000 race winner this year, and I hope that you enjoy the interview. IndyCar on NBC turned up the promotion for the season championship finale, promoting it during Sunday night football. This caused a great reaction from Connor Daly, although we do not know if any calamari was injured in the process. Check out the post on 33dreamsofindy.com. Speaking of the championship, all year long, Joseph Newgarden has used a hashtag riseabove in his post. It's even the subject of a pinned post on Twitter, although not one drop of sweat was harmed in the making of that particular video. Well, this has launched a hashtag war. Leave it to Andretti, Autosports and Alexander Rossi to fire back with the hashtag rise above her. Above her, you gotta love it. And speaking of the championship scenarios, Marshall Pruitt of Racer Magazine spells out the title clinching scenarios for each driver. The short of it is that Newgarden has to finish fifth or better without any bonus points, even with a Rossi victory and no bonus points, but if Rossi takes the pole and leads the most laps, then Newgarden will have to finish fourth or better. Outside of that, I'm sure you can trust NBC to have their points as they run graphic to be shown throughout the race, particularly after pit stops when one driver falls all the way back in the field. Speaking of Racer Magazine, Robin Miller posted an article asking which driver era in IndyCar was the best ever. It's worth the read, and it was penned in response to Will Power stating in the past few weeks that this is probably the most competitive era in IndyCar ever. Now to the Road to Indy Championships. Oliver Askew just has to start both races at Laguna Seca to claim the Indy Lights crown. But the two other series, Indy Pro 2000 and USF 2000, will go down to the wire. In Indy Pro 2000, Kyle Kirkwood is pitted against Rasmus Lynn. There's no hashtag battles here, just two racers looking to make it into the Indy Light Series in 2020. Kirkwood leads Lynn by 20 points heading into the final weekend. It's two races. Kirkwood posted a video of the opening laps of the Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway when he came from the back of the pack to the front, a race that may have saved this championship for Kirkwood. In the USF 2000, Hunter McElray and Brandon Eaves are only separated by six points heading into the final two races of the weekend. Eaves took to Twitter to make his intentions clear. He says, one thing in sight this weekend, one thing that matters, and that is the championship. I've included a quote and a link to this at 33dreamsofindy.com. McElray took advantage of the break between Portland and Laguna Seca to visit the iAdvance Motorsports Simulator to prepare for Laguna Seca before making a trip home to New Zealand, visiting his home racetrack and making a sponsor appearance in the trip. I also highlight some of the drivers and teams that are getting ready for the trip to California and provide you with a public service announcement of why racing and alcohol do not mix. You'll be able to find this at 33dreamsofindy.com. And that's your 33 Dreams of Indy grid walk for September 17, 2019. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Also, you can subscribe to our podcast on all of the major players, including Apple, Google, Stitcher, Pandora. And we've also been added onto the iHeartRadio network. Until next time, keep dreaming. Hope you enjoyed this video from 33 Dreams of Indy. It would mean the world to me if you would click subscribe so that you could be notified of any new videos that come along.